So the John Smith's handicap hurdle then is next, and this is a two mile nought to 140. Rice and the top one is Russian Foxbat Martin Lee and Game Set Matt Joshua Sutherland Janice Sings Graham Clutterbuck Samoa Sabbath Molliet Server Dame Joanna Lumley Paul Rhodes Indy Oldgate Carla Agante Lad Cookie Darren Howes Tornado Zofia Darren Thompson Samoa Sunrise Molliet Surfer Honey Pot Leon Van Rinsburg Rough Silk Kevin Meenahan Magic Free Daniel French Alberino Central Darren Thompson Van Starters Derek Hinton Galabala David Robertson Seven Furlongs Derek Hinton Maids to Maid Graham Clutterbuck a Pink Day, Alex Cherry, Francis Drake, Kevin Meenahan, Chief Whip, Stu Gray, Flying Swish, Alex Cherry, Paperwork, Obi-Wan, and Queen Phillips down for Darren Howells. So, 23 then. Big field, and away they go. Obscured by trees down towards the first then, and they skip over the first, and they're all over it safely. And we've got another eight to take. And Galabala and Rough Silk are disputing the lead early on. Van Starters, another one keen to lead. With Lad Cookie also up there as well. And Maidstone Maid has come through. And the horse in the green jacket, a pink day, has also been driven up to try and join the leading group, as well as in the old gate. And the grey magic freeze now joining in as well. So they're all pretty keen to be up at the business end, then it would seem, as they make their way towards the second. And we want to get a decent position on the next, on the turn at the end of the stroke, because if you get caught wide, you'll lose a bit of ground there, and it's difficult to make it up over a two mile race on such a flat track as this. So Maids to Maid then on the inside takes the third in front from Indy Oldgate second. And Galabala and a pink day. Van Starters and Flying Swish. Tinton has got two in that leading group as we see them from the top of the stand. And don't forget we'll be back here again in two weeks for some more exciting races over the Grand National Fences, the two Moores Millions Finals and the Starters Orders Six Chase Final that run over the National Fences. So there's still three more exciting races to come Oh, well, those big fences, and if they're anywhere near as exciting as that Grand National was, then um, that'll be something to look forward to, won't they? And a pink day has gone six, seven lengths clear then. Of Indy Oldgate and Maidstone made in second and third. Then Dame Joanna Lumley getting into it in fourth. Galabala is next, then Van Starters and Lad Cookie, Rough Silk, and Janice Sings after that one. That's the first of the greys. So that one comes Alberino Central with Honey Pot. They are very well strung out as I feared they might be in this with a big field and a pink day is well clear. Coming down towards this next one with Indy Oldgate second and Maidstone made third. Galabala fourth as they skip over number four. And you see the field a long, long way back to the last place there. They're more strung out in this than they were in the Grand National and it's a pink day that's in the lead from Indy Oldgate second as they take the fifth. We see them all over it. Some of those out of the back might just as well pull up, really, because they're not going to get anywhere near the lead. And as they come to the sixth, a pink day gets over it in front from Indy Oldgate second. Galabala is third, Van Starres is four, then Rough Silk is five, Maidstone Maid is six, then Dame Joanna Lumley, then Samoa Sunrise and Loud Cookie. After that one, Honey Pot, Arborino Central, Game Set and Match, then Janice Sings and Seven Furlongs. And I think we could quite safely forget the rest. They're not going to get into this at all as they come to the seventh. And over that one, then it's Galabala that now takes. It up. So Galabal is the new leader, but quickly pressed again by Maidstone Maid on one side and a pink day on the other. Then comes Dame Joanna Lumley and Rough Silk, Land Cookie and Van Starters, Indy Old Gates after that one. Alberino Central and still trying to run on as well, but they've only got two more to take. And Maidstone Maid's in the lead from Dame Joanna Lumley in second. Rough Silk going well up the centre of the track. Then Galabal and Land Cookie on the rail. Then after that one, a pink day. Van Starters is now trying to get back going again, but it's Maidstone Maid over the second last in the lead. Gets away from it well, it's made to made. Being pressed now by Joanna Lumley. Rough Silk back in third, trying to run on now. Is Samoa Sunrise over the final flight? They're going down. Joanna Lumley's got two lengths on them at the moment. Dame Joanna Lumley then races into the final half furlong with a lead of two lengths. Being chased by Rough Silk and Samoa Sunrise. Well, they're not going to get to Jane Joanna Lumley. This is going to be absolutely fabulous as she races up towards the line. Dame Joanna Lumley takes it from Samoa Sunrise. Arena Central Rough Silk one starters and Indy Oldgate was next. And quite a few of them never got into that race at all. Dame Joanna Lumley takes it for Paul Rhodes, Samoa Sunrise for Molly at Surfer was second, Alvarino Central for Darren Thompson third, Rough Silk Kevin Minahan fourth, in the old gate was fifth for Carl Aragante. So Dame Joanna Lumley takes it then and avenges the Grand National defeat for Paul Rhodes.